Hello, friends, and happy St. Patrick's Day to you all. I have a very long lineage of Irish descendants, and I used to celebrate every single year. And this year, I'm going to celebrate by doing a St. Patrick's Day pour for you all. And in case you've lost your marbles, or you may lose your marbles tonight, I'm going to do a marble pour. So hang on to your hats, hang on to your shillelaghs, and get ready to have some fun. I'm going to play some not so recognizable Irish tunes in the background. And I have some green wine that was made by my hometown winery in Ellicottville, New York. It is called Evil Green. So I'm gonna crack this open and I'm gonna pour a glass and toast you all. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. And thanks so much for joining me tonight. Here we go. I have a lot of leftover green paints I've discovered, so I thought I would just use them. They are mixed brands, and I really hope this works. Um, for example, I have the Prism Pour Winter Green, the Neptune's Gaze Prism Pour. This is kind of a mix of the... Um, it's kind of a yellow green and some of the winter green. And I just sort of mix that up to make it a little bit lighter. I also have a, it's a deco art. Um, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of it. But I also added some color shift, some green color shift to it. So we'll see what happens with that. I'm going to use 14 karat gold. I've got white that I will put as part of my base, and that is um, the Amsterdam titanium. Then I thought I would drizzle after I get things kind of on the canvas. This is the Chantilly lace the prism pour, and it is so, so beautiful and sparkly. And I added their new French silk that has a little bit of a gold um, sparkle to it. So that's going to get drizzled on top, low acrylic green to cover as the base. It's all dry and I'm gonna put the white on it and then I'll put the colors on it. And I think I'm going to use a five chamber split cup for the colors. It should help them stay a little separated. So we'll see what happens. I am going to have to do this pour again so you can see what I did with the marble. I can't believe I didn't have it on video, but at least I will show you this. See that sparkle from the Chantilly lace? I love it and the way the gold has gone in here. Oh, it's gorgeous, it's just gorgeous. Oh, 
I might have enough paint to do a really small piece just so you can watch how this went. Uh, well, anyway, there you have it. Sorry about that. I do love it, though. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm back. St. Patrick's Day isn't over yet, and I'm not tipsy yet. With that being said, here's to a second pour. All right. So, I mix some more paints, and I put them in the split cup the same way. And I'm using just a um, canvas panel because I hadn't prepped another canvas. And I've painted it green just so if anything comes through. But I'm going to do it just like I did before with putting the white on and then pouring the um, split cup on and then putting the... Um, the Prism Pour Chantilly Lace over it, just like I did the other one. It probably won't come out the same, and I don't want it to, but we will still do a marble pour. Okay, let's do it.
Well, there you have it. We did two pours tonight, but that's okay. I wanna thank you for spending one of my favorite holidays with me. It was fun. I had a great time. I loved working with these colors and I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, keep your sparkle on and give it to someone you love. Bye for now.